We're now moving on to our next speaker, who is Joe Hayes, Joe Hayes, Sales Director at Audience Project. And another uh, pretty interesting title, we've got 99 Problems and Audit Measurement is one. We are a panel-based research and technology company based in Copenhagen. Um, our primary focus for brands and agencies is audience measurement. Now, a quick distinction between the Nordics and the UK is that in the Nordics, it's standard on every campaign to measure your audience buys with a third-party verification partner, whereas in the UK, it isn't. Uh, we buy audiences, but we measure impressions. So we don't actually know if the media we're buying is reaching a target group, which is crazy. Um, and it's a big problem. So we need to understand the extent of that problem. First, you need to ask, do you spend money on online advertising for or on behalf of the brand? And if you don't, probably in the wrong presentation. Um, if you do, then you need to then ask if you're using a third party to measure audience reach for your online media activity. If the answer is yes, then you're in the enlightened minority. If the answer is no, then you're in the 84%. That's to say that we estimate that 84% of the UK's top 100 brands aren't measuring their audiences online. So does the fact that none of this audience buying or none of this media is being measured, does it concern you? Um, if it doesn't concern you, you're probably in the wrong presentation. Um, if it does concern you, then now's a perfect time to start because the benefits of measuring your audience online can bring deduplication of reach and frequency across the media plan, including within the World Gardens, um, understanding the incremental reach of online video versus TV, uh, and getting clarity on which data partners are actually helping to reach target audience. And up next is Sam Gaunt, who's the former head of media at Lidl and now founder of The Work in 50. And he's going to be discussing digital wastage and the issue of um, audience measurement in marketing. Um, I think I've got four seconds left, but I haven't got a joke, so apologies. <laughs> Fantastic. Super to talk. You did it under time, and who needs good bookshelves? Fantastic. So we've got some questions coming in. We're literally against time. So this question here from Kerry, who asks, you talk about measurement. What are you most excited about in the sector next year? Pretty broad question. Um, or it would be, well, shifting the 84% down. You know, if you think when I joined two years ago, our audience project, 90% of the market was unmeasured. Uh, at the moment, it's at 84%. If we can shift that number down to 60% um, next year, then I'll be probably a quite happy sales guy, but also more importantly, we'll have a more measured industry. So ideally, you know, every brand would measure the audience reach. So it's, it's a bit of an anomaly in the UK market. So yeah, I think um, driving that 84% down would be a, an achievement for measurement. Excellent, thank you. Okay, a question here from Rich, uh, who says, I believe, it, I believe in the Nordics, TV has now become smaller versus uh, SVOD and YouTube. Do you envisage this being the case in the UK soon? And do you think that's why there is a renaissance with TV buyers? Resistance, resistance sorry. Um, I think TV buyers are very used to um, the old way. Uh, and I think in the Nordics, they shift from a very kind of linear way of measuring things to what now is, you know, what we would call quite a modern way. And, you know, that, that I think we're reaching an inflection, an inflection point where um, we're going to have to change just because the amount of kind of connected devices that we're all on now. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think we've re we're reaching we're well, we're almost having a renaissance moment. I know it was kind of misquoted, but um, yeah, there is obviously resistance because effectively what you're doing by measuring your audience is that you're actually finding out whether what you've been selling or buying for the last decade is, was actually accurate in the first place, which is obviously quite an uncomfortable truth. Fantastic. Um, Gavin says, so, so what's the inflection point in the UK? I guess he says, you know, what's... Yeah, yeah so the inflection point is, the, to be honest with you, the, you know, the arrival of being able to measure. A lot of the old uh, ways of doing it was very much restricted to age and gender, whereas now we're able to measure far more um, granular audiences than we were, say, three years ago. So there's, a, there's very much a case where... Um, you know, buyers weren't able to measure before and there wasn't necessarily the, the availability of a third party to do it. And now we're in a situation where there is a third party to do it and they can measure the audiences that are being bought online. So that's why we're seeing a kind of increase in, in brands coming to us and asking us to help them with that solution. So we're expecting that to change quite, quite significantly in the next 12 months.